Hello all and thanks for joining us on this Paranormal Pit Stop. Tonight, we'll be exploring a 226-acre historic U.S. defense installation located off of New York Avenue on Staten Island in New York, right atop the Narrows, which divides the upper and lower NY Bays, and that, prior to its closing in 1994, actually held the title of being the longest continually garrisoned defense of its type in the whole of the country. Rumored to hold an assortment of chilling supernatural phenomena alongside ghostly manifestations of the past, are you sure you're ready to brave the history and hauntings of Fort Wadsworth. Historically, in 1636, lands that would one day hold Wadsworth would welcome the construction of their first militarized site, being that of a Dutch blockhouse on Signal Hill, which now notably holds Fort Tompkins. In 1655, this blockhouse would burn to the ground in a native raid led through the Peach Tree War, after which it would be decided a permanent fortification would be installed, resulting in the 1663 construction of a second blockhouse. Through the American Revolution, the old defense, which was then recognized as Flagstaff Fort, was captured under the British, who would issue a series of expansions, and following the end of the war in 1783, it would sit vacant for a time, before in 1806 it was acquired under the state of New York directly, after which, construction of four separate forts purposed to serve by 1808 was started, including of the Red Sandstone Forts, Richmond and Tompkins, and of Morton and Hudson. Incidentally, through the Civil War, New York would actually never face an attack by sea, and while life at the forts would remain relatively quiet, the area would also act as a significant point for mobilization. And in 1865, following the construction of batteries along the northern and southern cliffs around Fort Richmond, Fort Wadsworth was officially born. Through the late 19th and early 20th centuries, defenses through the region were expanded and modernized upon, with a slew of new batteries completed alongside the addition of an underwater minefield. And in 1902, as part of the Endicott program, all present fortifications would be combined under the singular collective title of Fort Wadsworth. In 1979, the whole of Fort Wadsworth was turned over to the U.S. Navy, who would utilize the expanse as a New York station. Until 1994, the site would accommodate active military usage, and in 1995, the defense and its surrounding lands would be transferred to the National Park Service, who would in turn open its bounds to the public as a museum and landmark location. In the present, Fort Wadsworth remains open to the public as a popular recreational and educational destination, and offers a visitor center, a range of multi-use trails, a slew of exhibits pertaining to the history of the fort and region, a fully restored lighthouse, touring options, and, according to legend, a ridiculous range of paranormal activity, resulting from lingering spirits tied to its bounds through lives since spent. And to date, both staff and visitors to the area have reported extreme hot and cold spots felt in adverse weather or within temperature-controlled rooms, orbs and spook lights both visible to the naked eye and also captured in photography and video, and the unnerving feelings of being watched, of being followed, or even of being brushed up against, tapped, or even grabbed by presences unseen. A now more famous and chilling account, courtesy of a woman who was visiting the fort, tells of when, for several terrifying moments, her consciousness was fully projected into the body of a curly-headed nurse from war times, who was surrounded by an overwhelming number of wounded and dead, and of how, before she could react, a soldier beside her yelled and grabbed her arm just as an incoming explosion erupted near, snapping her suddenly back to the present. Several informal investigations of Wadsworth have yielded high EMF levels, chilling EVPs, and odd malfunctions or abnormal battery death rates in well-maintenanced electronics, while others have told of disembodied footsteps, whispers, and voices that emanate from vacant spaces or from within dormant structures, of ghostly forms and of strange mists that drift unnaturally about, of the smells of tobacco and wood smoke, or of cooking food without source, and even of the phantom commotion of both gun and cannon fire. Lastly, a slew of spectral soldiers have been observed all over fort grounds, some training, others performing rounds, and others still resting or chatting amongst each other. Several have been spied driving historic vehicles around that always vanish in the blink of an eye, while sadly, others who appear wounded have approached the living for help before fading away. Thanks for tuning in for this Paranormal Pit Stop. If you enjoyed hearing our histories and ghost stories, subscribe to our channel, like this upload, and share us with anyone you feel could use a good scare. We'll catch you all next time.